Every business follows a specific framework for its operations, and Royal Kingdom Estate, being a real estate brand, is no different. However, our unique strategy sets us apart, enabling us to excel amongst others in the real estate sector. Once again, we are pleased to have Mr. Danny Angels, the President and CEO of Royal Kingdom Estates, share insights into our business approach that we believe can positively influence you and your ventures in highly competitive business environments. This is Time with the CEO and today we discuss the RKE business approach. RKE family. It's another exciting day and I'm happy to be here to discuss this wonderful topic with you. Uh, when it comes to approach or model to business, there are several conventional approaches. But in RKE, we have developed very practical models that works well for us and our client. And I'm happy to discuss uh, some of them with you. In fact, fundamentally, Business is all about people, solving problems about people. So our first principle that we consider is people-centric. We make sure that we are people-centric. Every policy, terms and condition is geared towards making life easier for our client. For instance, we go all out to make sure that our clients are happy. In most cases, when clients are coming from abroad, Myself, even as a CEO, would have to go to the airport at times, pick them up, take them to their residence, make sure that we take them to the requisite um, agencies. I mean, to get their Ghana card or non-citizen card, make sure we get them a place to sleep and all that. We go all out to make the business like a family. If you have a challenge, you call us anytime. We will be at your need every step of the way. So our approach, is to make sure that people are at the forefront of every service that we are rendering. And let me cite one example. A client contacted us from the US. I mean, she was so happy to link up with us. She came down and she saw most of the properties. She was so excited. But you know, she didn't have the, the funds to make payment. But we gave her um, a payment plan that we may deem as not favorable to us instead of maybe you're supposed to pay 10%, uh, we said just pay 1% and anytime you have the funds, you can come back. That is how um, ready we are to meet you at the point of your need. At times, clients come from abroad, they are stranded at the airport, they just call us, we make sure we use our contact to get them to settle in. One of the underlining principles of our business um, approach is pragmatism. What is pragmatism? We are very, very flexible. I tell you what, most of the great business ideas or solutions that we have found as a business emanated from just listening to clients' feedback. A feedback could be in a bad or uh, a good form. A client could be upset about something that didn't go right. But if you are a flexible business, you are pragmatic, you will listen, you will learn, and then atone and prescribe a solution through that. So we are quite flexible. We are not rigid in our approach that this is how we want to go. We can decide that, you know what, we want to use plan A. When we get to the drawing board or when we get to the ground and the ground detects something else or the market detects something else, we will listen to you. And I will, I will urge all business people, even in real estate, listen more to the client. The client most of the time may not complain you think it's complaint, but they are actually giving you solutions. And we have used that perfectly to our advantage. So pragmatism is at the um, apex of one of our top business uh, principles. Again, no business can thrive without human resource, adequate human resource. So what have we done differently at RKE? At RKE, we make sure that we place so much emphasis on what? Youth employment, youth empowerment talent development. So we recruit young people. You may not have the requisite skills, but once you have the right attitude, once you have the aptitude, we will be able to train you. And we don't just train you, we make sure that we remunerate 
well, we compensate you well, your efforts are rewarded because we want to move with this team for the long, for the long term. The vision is not just to employ people, pay them today, but we want them to grow with us. Okay, so the human resource is quite uh, pivotal to what we want to achieve as a company and we place so much emphasis on it and we continue to recruit. Recently, we've just recruited um, a new technical team and they are amazing and they are doing well. And you can see that in some of our service delivery, even in architecture and uh, admin, we are quite uh, well equipped with enough talent to go to the next level. Furthermore, how can a business thrive in the long term without vision? Our RKE, we make sure that we are vision driven. There is no uh, initiative that is just of short term or medium term. We look at the long term because for you to scale up and stand the test of time as a business, as a brand, you need to have vision. So if you look at even our investment portfolio or our portfolio in real estate, we have the prime area, we have development side, and we have countryside. We want to be here for the long term. Also, because we are vision oriented, we do not joke with our credibility because the name is all that we have. And if we can protect that name today, in the long term, we are going to enjoy from that name. So there you have scarcity mindset. The scarcity mindset will tell you, just enjoy today. Just enjoy today. There's no tomorrow. We are here by the grace of God to go for the long haul and achieve greatness in real estate in Ghana, Africa, and the world at large. So we are vision driven and vision. We do not joke with our vision and ambitious initiatives. So vision is at the forefront of all that we do at RK. Again, even in real estate in Ghana, a lot of people are scared to take the risk. But they say what? The bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. Vice versa. We have lost money as a business. Uh, we've been scammed before. But you know what? We keep going. There are a lot of properties that we have been able to acquire. When we we're bidding for those properties, there were a lot of skepticism in terms of uh, why we should do that as a business at this stage of our uh, growth. We shouldn't invest in that. But look, we took the risk. We've invested heavily into some of these areas. And today, we are seeing the reward. So we make sure that we take risk, even if it has to cost us money. Sometimes some of the properties are a bit expensive, but what do we want to achieve? We want to what? Expand our uh, tentacles. We want to cut across various segments of the market. We may not make a lot of profit from some of the properties just by the amount or the purchasing power at the time, but it gives us, it serves as a platform for us to leverage on to get to the next level of where we want to be. So as a business, at times you don't make profit, at times you don't make money, but then you invest and take risk so that you make a good name for yourself. And then you enjoy from that name in future. So yeah, risk taking is uh, of utmost importance again, and we take a lot of risk behind the scene to get some of the properties that we have available on the market. Fundamentally, you have to impact society, right? So we do not joke with our corporate social responsibilities. We, uh, we are humble to say that, and we are humble and proud to say that we have touched lives. As we speak in our RKE, we have widows, we have people who are less privileged in society like orphans who are on our payroll. We pay them monthly, we pay school fees, and we want to expand this and reach thousands of um, less privileged people in society. Because look, all that we have is to make sure that we share the little that we can, um, uh, we can get. You may not get everything before you can give, but the little that you have, you should be able to affect uh, communities. Also, all the communities that we purchase properties, we make sure that we involve the locals. We create employment and our policy. We employed a certain quota in every community that we develop projects. So we can say that this community, we are going to employ about 60% of skilled labor or unskilled labor. And at least we need to be also contribute to the development of humanity in general. So in our small way, that is what we are doing. In a nutshell, or to conclude, there are various uh, business models. You just have to identify 
whichever works for you and some may be unconventional but uh, do not care about the doubters continue to strive to be better create a niche for yourself and operate within that niche and solve problems it's all about identifying problems and solving these problems thank you so much for always spending time your precious time to listen to the few nuggets that uh, we always have to share i hope this helps somebody out there and we are thankful for the opportunity to be here and you guys are part of the rk family we are very grateful and we thank you so much